Okay, so syllabication involves taking a multisyllable word and breaking that multisyllable word into syllables. This is a, sort of a harder one for students, and this you could probably see these mistakes on almost any uh, open response oral, flu, uh, oral reading fluency assessment because it's just uh, it's one of the more advanced skills, right? And it's it's common that a student is going to have difficulty in some of this stuff. They're going to have difficulty with multisyllable words in general. And uh, when it comes to multisyllable words, they're probably not going to be able to chunk it up into um, its, you know, different syllables. And the ones that we've done in the class, we've spent time on like C, uh, V, C, C, V words like diner and V, C, V words like, I'm sorry, dinner and diner. Dinner is the V, C, C, V and diner is the V, uh, C, V and open and closed syllables. We spent time in those areas focusing on those types of syllabication rules. I think that's the stuff that you should be able to spot on the day of the test. Like the student wasn't able to correctly um, um, pronounce the word dinner or diner correctly because they didn't have this specific syllabication rule. Try and um, when you're studying syllabication, there's a lot of rules to study. Focus on these ones here. Get these ones that I have here down. Um, and when you're thinking about, you know, structural analysis, Remember, this is, uh, this is involving uh, multisyllable words, but words that have more morphemes. Now, these words that have morphemes, you could use syllabication to break them apart. But this one here, you're, kind of, you're spotting the prefix, the base, the suffix. And this one here, you're kind of taking it from another angle. You're breaking it up into its, its syllables. And it might just happen that as you break up the word into its syllables using syllabication, it might just so happen that you break it into a prefix, a base, and a suffix. But here it's taking more of a, a syllable angle to breaking up the word into decodable parts. And here it's taking more of a morpheme level, meaning that you're going to break up the word into uh, morphemes and to decode it that way and recognize it that way. So these are two different ways of dealing with approaching a multisyllable word. A student's use of syllabication uh, can happen with very basic words. Like, look at these words here. These are two-syllable words. They're multi-syllable words, but they're two-syllable words. And these are everyday high-frequency words. We have, we have here sister and after, right? Can you see those two words? And so you could, a student could be using syllabication for these words or not. And it doesn't have to be a, a or complex multi-syllable word. It could be just a very basic two-syllable word that the student struggles with. Now, VCCV is the, probably the most common syllabication pattern out there. So if you're ever going to write about syllabication, you'd want to watch out for this one right here because this is probably one of the more obvious ones. And uh, it, if you could just learn maybe one or two rules in syllabication, this would be one of them. And you could write a wonderful essay on their use of uh, word multi using syllabication with VCCV words or not using it. Okay. All right. Just keep that in mind too, team. All right. All right. Let's keep going.